Ciao everyone! Beth with Thimble Hooks. I'm back again. I got my things put away from Joann's and from uh, Hobby Lobby and now I'm going to go through the three bags of stuff that I got at Tuesday morning. I had no idea they had so much stuff and there was they had uh, everything was on clearance. Almost everything was on clearance. They had a huge clearance area of just miscellaneous things but tons of tons and tons of yarn at, at my local one. So I had to I had to um, go through all of it because I can barely resist a clearance yarn. And a lot of things I've never seen before at all. Um, things I've seen and never worked with before. So let's see what I was able to find. These are some things I've never heard of before, so I'm excited. Um, the first ones that I found, this is from Universal Yarn. Sorry, I had to put my glasses on. Universal Yarn. And originally, these are this is a fifteen dollar hank of wool. It's I think it's fifty fifty. I think they told me. Oh, where is it? I know it's here. Fifty percent acrylic and fifty percent superwash wool. I usually don't work with wool, straight out wool like this, but this is just this was such a pretty color. And again, I was kind of drawn to all these fall shades. Like this, so there's a whole bunch on the table here that are that way. And I don't know why they would clearance out the colors that you need for the season, but works for me, good for me. It says excellent for socks, shawls, and accessories. So let's see what it needs. And I'll put a picture of it in for everybody to be able to see. It is, oh, it's a three, it's a light. Okay, it's a three weight, and they want me to use a four millimeter hook. Well, that seems reasonable. 291 yards. They only had two, so I got both of them, but almost 600 yards. I know I can come up with something fun. I don't know what it will be yet, but that's what my favorite things to do is design. So that's what we're going to start doing. Some of these were a little loved. You can see that like this tag is broken, and this one is a little bit out of its, out of its, uh, out of its hank and stuff. And So um, I will give it a happy home. And again, they had an extra 20% off of everything because this was all clearance. So off of their original price, I got another 20% off too. So the original price was $15. I didn't pay anywhere near $15 for these. Not even close. So that's why I'm going to use them. It's probably why I don't use things like this very often because I get a little leery about investing that much into a product I've never used. But now I'm going to use it and it might be my new favorite. Who knows? Put set those aside for a minute. Here's the next one. This is also from Universal Yarn. See, these have been loved. This is what happens when you get things on clearance from. Um, I don't know. This is what happens when you get things on clearance. Sometimes people pull the yarn out. They just got jostled around a little bit too much. But I have a ball winder, so I'm not even concerned. I already know what I'm going to do with these two, with these pinks. Let's see, what do they want here? It's a four medium and they're telling me a five and a half weight or a five and a half millimeter. So this is going to be your typical four weight. It's a very gradiated pink. So it's going to, and it feels a lot like a carrot, like a Simply Soft or a Red Heart. It doesn't anything extra special about it except that it's pink and I love pink and it only had two of them and they needed they needed a good home oh poor things they needed a good home I already know what I'm going to do with these so they will be loved very soon I'll set those aside for a moment more universal yarn huh okay I, I just I don't even know this company I've never paid attention they had two of these they're called just called it classic shades. It's kind of a weird thing. But they look and feel oh, just like landscapes. Lion brand landscapes. They have the gradiated colors. This one is called stained glass, I believe, which is a perfect name. Yep, stained stained glass. They only had two of them. 197 yards. And they want me to use a six millimeter and a four medium. So again, it's like a landscape, so it's a little fuzzy, so you want a little bit bigger hook. I'll 
put in pictures so you can see these just gorgeous colors all swirled together. They're beautiful. Yes, I love these. This is going to be fun. Only had two, so I got them both on clearance. Can't resist clearance, especially when it's something so pretty and swirly and I've never seen it before. And I got it for cheap. I love cheap yarn. Here's another one from the Universal Yarn People. This one's called Classic Shades, just like that other one was. This one's name is Grapevine. This also is looking and feeling just like landscapes. Look from the Lion Brand people. It, it's a little bit fuzzy. It's got the great colors. This one's called Grapevine. Perfect name. Very purple. It looks to me kind of like um, Mardi Gras colors all mixed together. That's what caught my eye on that one. Great shades of purple and some deep greens. So I'm going to love this. Three of them on clearance. So I'll come up with a great project. It will happen someday. Hopefully this one soon because I really, really like these colors all mixed together. The big bright gold spot. But I'll put a picture in so you can see the colors better. And then one lonely little landscapes from Lion Brand. A real landscapes. You can see right here. This is a it's a four and they want a six and a half millimeter, so it's a little, they were asking for a little bit bigger hook. But I didn't know they made just black. I always thought they had the swirly colors. That's what I've always used before. I've never seen one that's just black, so this is really going to be fun. I can uh, be hard to work with just because it's, because it's black and it's fuzzy. But I have some other ones that maybe they could, they could pair up and I can make something that's, that's striped or who knows. But everybody knows this lovely product. And I got it for uh, about, oh, I'm going to see the price. I'm going to say about 80 to 85% off of the normal price that you would buy it anywhere else. So it's mine now. That's so great. Let's see, what do we have now? And now I have these. These are called the Hook Nook. Again, I don't know, I haven't used this product before really squishy. It's called Yummy. What a great name. Ben loved a little bit. Ripped. I don't care. It's called Hook Nook and it's called Yummy. That's great. <laughs> I like that. That's fun. So this is telling me it's a five. It's a bulky. That makes total sense to me. And they want me to use, are they going to tell me the hook? There it is. Wow, is that tiny. Could they make it any tinier? Okay, it's a six, six and a half millimeter, which sounds right. It had three of them for me, and this is a great pink. What is it called? Cherry Blossom. That's a great color name. Cherry Blossom. It's kind of, uh, it's pink, but it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a little swirly. It's more of a raspberry kind of color mixed into it. So I'll take a picture up close so you'll be able to see these. I had three of those. So again, when it's on clearance... I, they break all my rules and I got what they had and they'll turn it into something lovely. And now these little guys are so cute. These little buns. I love these little buns. What are they? Again, the universal, universal yarn people. Vibrance. These are great. I love these. I'm calling this. This is a super fine. I don't I don't see it as being a super fine exactly, but it's saying calling it a one. It is pretty thin. It's kind of fluffy. It's got two strands twisted. One of them is really fuzzy and the other one is really thin. It almost looks like thread. And they had three of them. This one, uh, they want me to use a three and a half millimeter hook. Oh, that's fun. I get out my tiny hooks. That's awesome. It's called Vibrance. And I'm looking for the name of the color. I hate it when I can't find the name of the color. Fractal? Does this one say fractal? Nope. Okay, I guess the color name is fractal. It's gradiated pink through pink to purples. Again, they were 20% off of the Tuesday morning price, which is always a always a great price in the first place at Tuesday morning so and then they gave me an extra 20% off but this one is called vitamin what a goofy goofy name 
but it's another little bun. It has the same pinks in it. Same little, yeah, same different shades of pink. But instead of purple, it had gold. And I figured, well, those are close enough that they can coordinate and be friends. So that's going to be something cute. I know, I know it will be. I just have to design this one. I've never used these, this Universal Vibrance product before. It's very fine. It's very squishy. So one of my favorite things to do. I am a designer, so I will come up with something. Just put my head around it after I do the other 19 projects that I think are already in my brain and get those written down. But I'm going to put those three away for now. They will, be, they will be nice friends. And I also found the same vibrance in these blues. What was your name? Blueberry. Okay, that one's better. It's better than vitamin. That's not a name. Again, this was a one and they want me to use a three and a half millimeter. See those great blues and kind of a little bit of a steel gray in there and some great blues. They had a, several of them, so I got them all. A couple of them look like they've been loved a little bit, as happens in a in a discounty place where they get manhandled a lot. So I've got well, two of them that are perfect and three of them that are a little floppy, but again, I have a ball winder. I don't care. As long as they're not in big knots, and I don't see any knots. But I, I was able to come up with five blueberries. So I know I can do something really awesome with that when I have five. So I'm excited by that. I'm going to put those away. And also, on the clearance, in the big clearance rack, it was amazing. Another one that's been loved very much. Oh, poor thing. But he has a happy home now. Karen Cakes! We've got cakes all over the place. They had, they had just piles of cakes. And this is, well, it's been loved a little bit. It's got a ripped label, but I don't care because when I'm all done with it, I'm going to throw the label away. So that doesn't really matter. So they're saying that this is a five millimeter hook. Everybody knows a Karen cake. And this one is pistachio fudge. Pistachio. Actually, in Italian, it's pronounced pistachio. But uh, pistachio fudge, which is probably right. There's, that's definitely, definitely the greens and the chocolatey cocoa colors this oh this side looks way prettier i'll take a picture of that so everybody can see the colors it just looks fall looks happy but yeah pistachio pistachio fudge they only had one and it is how long are you 383 yards i'm not sure this one isn't calling out to me quite yet some of the other ones just say, make me into this. This one isn't calling to me yet, but he has a happy home because he looked like he needed it. Poor little yarn. Poor little yarn. And then what else did I get? Oh, these are burnet cakes. Got three of these. They're huge. The burnet pop bulkies. Three of them. They want an eight millimeter hook. Eight millimeter hook because these are super bulky. This is a six super bulky with my 10 millimeter. Yep. Yeah. No, not an eight. Yeah, 10 millimeter hook. Why does it say eight there? That's silly. This is definitely going to need my 10. This is a 10 millimeter hook, and my color, this color is Fabulous Fuchsia. I never can resist anything that's pink, so that was easy. This was a no brainer. This, I, I think it jumped into my cart. I didn't even have to put it in my cart because pink and one it knew was going to come to my house. But I had three of them. So this will make something really fun. Make a big squishy blanket or something like that. It's, it's, the, it's, it's the Bernard Pop Bernat Pop Bernat Pop Bulky. So it's extra thick. I have a whole bunch of Bernat Pop up there on my shelf. But I don't have the bulky. So that's fun. And then what's this one? Then I've got these. These really had a hard life until they got to come join my stash. This one is all shrink wrapped back together again. This one's little label is all a mess, but labels labels are not important to me. I don't care. But this is Burnett Blanket Stripes. My daughter uses the Burnett Blanket all the time to do things, but I've never seen these little cakes of just a stripe before, and I think she uses this, this in between this color right here. I think she has a bunch of this right now. It looks, it looks really close to me anyway. So she might have, find something fun 
to do with this to add to her blanket because she's making I think she's making like a king size one this one is called buff stone buffed stone oh that's good that's a good name I have two of them this one is all shrink wrapped but there's no damage he's actually in better shape than this one that's not so that's funny uh, there's some they're just kind of gray kind of a uh, like a like a clay kind of sandy colors and then there's the darker brown and this is a really dusty a deep dusty blue it's not it doesn't look like it's totally gray it has a little bit of a blue tinge into it so again this is probably not enough to make anything in particular but I think my daughter has the one of the other colors that's in here so we'll definitely um, it will find a happy place so there's those two what are these ones now these I had never seen before Karen tea cakes they had two of them these are really big so they're saying yep they're six they're a six super bulky so I will be using they want me to use an eight millimeter hook I might use a little bit bigger on it because it seems like it's it's pretty heavy I don't know it's probably about right I'll give it a try and then I'll see what my chains look like when I start doing something this one's called maple matcha which is kind of a fun name that's kind of fun like matcha tea I guess it has the greens and a lot of kind of a golden browns and kind of an olivey green so again the fall colors are just jumping out at me so I have two of those how long are these these are really big these are tea cakes are 204 yards this is a lot of stuff in here this is big so I'm excited by those I'll put a picture in for everybody to see and then these are I don't know why they had all these cakes I'm so excited with all these cakes everybody knows Karen cakes at four and they're all the same color which is awesome oh they put this sticker over the color oh nope there it is Turkish delight okay that's a good name kind of got a golden color cream color this is a, a dusty plum a blue a pink and then starts over at the gold with the cream again I have four of these it's a four weight which seems right 383 yards each Ooh. and I only want me to use a five millimeter hook I might use a five and a half because it feels a little fuzzy but it might just because be because it's had so much manhandling it might be just a little fuzzy on the outside for me right now but I have four of those so that will definitely make something I will probably make them very specific stripe patterns with something so that's neat but again Karen cakes four of them just sit in there for about 80 percent off which I can't complain about that ever that's never gonna go wrong and this is the last thing that I found well, it was probably one of the first things that I found, but it's the last thing that's coming out of my little bag stash thing here right that I have right now. They're Karen Big Cakes. These things are huge. They're huge. 300 grams. There's tons of them. 603 yards, and I have three of them. How much fun is that going to be? Again, these were a little loved. They're a little bit out of out around. They've had some they've had some manhandling, but I don't care. There doesn't seem to be any damage and there's no knots. I can fix I can fix that. This is a four weight, which looks exactly right. I like uh, these are soft. I like it. I love Karen products. Simply Soft is one of my favorite products to work with every day, any day. I will always work with the Karen Simply Soft. I just love it. Um, so this is a four medium. They want me to use a five and a, uh, five millimeter hook, and I certainly will. It sounds perfect. This one is called oh, Tiramisu. Um, I make tiramisu and I've never seen it to be gray <laughs> so I don't know about that but the other colors are right there's like a camel and a, a like a buff color in here a couple of shades of gray and a cream so that'll be fun those are just gonna make some really nice stripes probably just be a great big huge throw and be really 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 soft I'm excited by that but these were just huge just hanging out there being 20 
20% off of their already low price. So again, I'm gonna my quick math tells me about 80% off of normal, which I'm gonna take every day. It's really hard to uh, avoid all of that jumping into my cart when I find clearance yarn. Even if it wasn't something that I was looking for in the first place, it's going to turn into a cool project at some point. That's how I've found a few yarns that I do love right now that I like working with because they're on clearance and I gave them a try. And maybe you'll find that sometime too. Always seek out the seek out a something new and something different. I get kind of stuck in the always wanting to use my Caron or I always want to use this one. So it's nice for me to be able to branch out a little bit here and there because uh, I kind of have a problem with that. This haul that I just got is loaded with things I've never used before so it should be really fun. Um, again, that was what I accidentally found when I went to Tuesday morning. I had no idea they were going to have all of this stuff on clearance. But I jumped in my cart. I had three big bags that I did not need but I'm going to figure out something great for them. I'm going to start designing as soon as I find a place for these because it was hard enough to put away the stuff from Joann's and Hobby Lobby a couple of minutes ago. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for supporting my small business and I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Have a great day. I'm done, Swoopy.